religions that are as rigid as the shaft of a lance. They demand blind, unquestioning compliance. They spread their hierarchy to all fields of human action. These religions resist change of any sort. They were laid down by men who wanted to make sure that those who followed would forever remain in a spiritual prison. Let me first start off by saying that I'm not here to debate with anyone. Do not leave a comment, do not send me an email in which you are in severe disagreement with what I have to say. If you got a problem with what I have to say, keep it to yourself. Go talk about it someplace else, because I don't care. You're not going to convince me of anything. I am not interested in your opinion. I am not interested in a debate with you. I am not interested in drama or an argument. If you want drama and an argument and a debate, then go watch the political debates. Go watch Oprah Winfrey. When I want advice, I go to my elders, I go to the grandmasters, I go to the generals and the captains and the lieutenants, I go to my peers. If you do not think as I do, you have not been through what I have been through, you are not my peer. I am not interested in what you have to say. I will delete your comments, I will delete your emails, I will ban you. So you are wasting your time. And if you continue to do this, you only prove your masochism. You only prove that you are willing to waste your time and my time. Therefore, I respect you even less. Now, this is what I want to talk about. I want to talk about manliness because my videos are for men. My videos are for warriors. If you are a woman, that's fine too, but my target audience is men. And as far as the other Cretans that I was talking about, and so far as these people that want to debate me, that want to say that I am full of anger, that, that violence isn't the answer, you need to calm down. We have homosexual men that have more warrior in their carefully manicured fingernails than you have in your whole body. Don't come to my YouTube channel, my website, my email box, and send me anything because I'm not interested in what you have to say. You can go back to the cotton field where you came from. Let's talk about peace. People have this idea that the very mention of violence is something bad. And as soon as you mention the very word, that means that you're interested in taking offensive action and going out and terrorizing people, going out and killing people. This is how programmed and pacified they are. I have never said anything of the sort. I have said that one must prepare for violence. One must have claws the way that my cute little cats have claws. They are prepared for violence. They play fight to prepare themselves for violence. What do you do? You are pacified. You sit in front of the television. You say we should write our congressmen. You say we should make a cardboard sign. You are not in touch with reality. I have no interest in what you have to say. You are cattle. You are zombies. You are single-celled organisms. And as we look at single-celled organisms, we find the truth of this universe. That warfare happens on every level. Peace is the opiate of the weak. Warfare is a constant. Conflict is a constant. The universe is always in conflict. So as you look through a microscope, you see warfare. As we go to the next stage in life, we find insects, and they are at war with each other. Constant, unrelenting war. Then we'll step it up. You might go to fish, get some scuba gear, and go and jump in the ocean. And you will find that war surrounds you. Go and study astronomy, and you will find it is constant, unrelenting warfare. Bodies, meteors smashing into planets, things exploding, conflict, destruction. Somebody has convinced you that you can acquire peace, yet they use their warriors to make you into a slave. They dress up their warriors as your friend and send them in as peacekeepers and law enforcement, while convincing you that they are there to give you peace, that they are there to protect you. This is a lie. It has been a lie from the very beginning. The universe is in constant conflict. The only thing that ever can ensure your safety and happiness is when you are willing to fight. A Navy SEAL instructor 
said, look at the rabbit that is taken by the wolf or the wolf that gets its foot caught in a trap. The animal does not feel sorry for itself. It never feels sorry for itself. It never sits down and goes, there's nothing what we can do. It never goes, it's time to give up now. I'm so weak. It fights for its life. When my cats go outside, they are in Vietnam. They are in constant, unrelenting Vietnam. All animals are always in Vietnam when they go outside. Unless you have a nice little cushy neighborhood that's carefully kept to give you the illusion of your safety while you are in slavery. Out here, in the wild, it's Vietnam. My little tiny cats do not complain. They do not tell me that I should not speak of violence because violence is real to them, because they have not been duped. They have not been fed the opiate, the lie of peace. We're going to have everlasting peace. This is a lie. So long as men have free will, there will always be warfare. There will always be fights. The only way that you will ever get your little Garden of Eden is when we turn into the Borg. And they have the plans to turn us into the Borg. Read The Age of Spiritual Machines by Ray Kurzweil, who is Illuminati. And here he is, yippee skippy. There's going to be a time where we can plug our minds into each other. We can communicate together as one single mind. Yes, that's so great, isn't it? That is your Garden of Eden. The Garden of Eden is the Borg. Do you think that there are any fights on a Borg ship? No, they do not fight with each other. They are one consciousness. What reason would they have to fight with each other? That is the only way that you are going to have your peace. War is constant. It is real. Do not come to me and say that I am full of anger and violence and I want violence and all this stuff. No, I am in touch with reality. You you are fed an opiate. You are under the illusion that you can have peace or that we can work towards peace. The only way that you can work towards peace is when you sign up with Ray Kurzweil. When you say, yes, plug me into the board. I do not want free will anymore. I do not want to have the free will to go and kick my neighbor in the teeth just because I feel like it. You may not do that, but he may decide to do it to you. So what are you going to do? Are you going to get a protest sign? That isn't going to stop him from doing that if he wants to. Are you going to write your congressman? That isn't going to stop him from doing that if he wants to. No. The only way that you can prevent somebody from hurting you is to be a warrior and to prepare for violence. Because that is the universe. That is the universe of free will. You cannot have peace so long as you have free will. So prepare for warfare. Study warfare. And I am talking to the men. I am not talking to the candy asses that want to go back to their cotton field. Go back to your cotton field where you f belong. Because you are a slave. Because you admit that you are a slave. Because you want to be a slave. Because you are a masochist. You are apathetic. You are weak. You are not going to challenge the people that stomp our people into the ground, that poison our people. You are not going to do anything about them. Because you are fed an opiate. You are under an illusion. You are programmed. You are a drone, a zombie, cattle. If you are a warrior, you will man up and come to terms with this reality. The insect comes to terms with this reality. He is in constant Vietnam. My cat comes to terms with this reality. She is in constant Vietnam. If somebody wants to hurt you, they will hurt you. If they really desire to do so. The only way that you can prevent them from doing that is to have a willingness to hurt them back.